What's up everyone, CJ here. I hope you're all doing well. So I get a lot of questions on Instagram and YouTube about what snare drum I'm using. And actually, I have a lot of snare drums. To some people, my girlfriend, it might seem excessive, but I like to switch out snare drums depending on what situation I'm in and what kind of sound I want. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my snare drum collection and how the snare drum sounds. Now, bear in mind that this is not gonna be a review video. I'm not gonna go into all the specifics about each and every snare drum. And as you will see, some of the snare drum has definitely needs changing. I'm not gonna change the tuning of each snare drum either. Now for recording, I might fine tune them a little bit so they don't sound crazy, but I'm not gonna show every snare drum with like low tuning, medium, and high tuning. All right, with that out of the way, let's start with the first snare drum. The first snare drum in my collection is of course the snare drum that came with my reference series kit, the reference series snare drum. I mean, look at this finish. Scarlet fade finish, the reference series logo, golden die cast hoops. This snare drum is super heavy. It's a 14 by five and it's a 20 ply birch and maple hybrid snare drum. It's from the reference series recipe. I mean, look how thick this snare drum is. Let's hear it out. All right, the second snare drum in my collection is probably one of the most beautiful snare drums that's ever been built. I'm talking, of course, about the Benny Greb Signature Brass Snare. Mwah. I've been using this snare drum as my main snare drum for over a year now. A lot of you out there who's been watching my Instagram and YouTube have seen this snare drum in a lot of videos. And yes, it sounds awesome. It's made by Sonar. Sonar is one of the best drum companies in the world, in my opinion. I mean, they've been called the Rolls Royce of drums. It's a brass snare drum, and the size is very unusual, but very cool. So it's 13 by 5.75. It has the modern teardrop lugs. It has the very smooth Sonar dual slide snare strainer. Super awesome. And the cool thing about this snare drum is that it has two built-in snare mufflers. One on this side and one on that side. This one is called the felt muffler. And this one I think is called the sheep. It's either wool or just a heavy slab of cotton. Anyway, this is one of my favorite snare drums ever built, so let's just hear it out. Next up is another Sonar snare drum, and this one is the Mark I Benny Greb Signature Beechwood. I mean, look at this veneer. The veneer is Scandinavian birch. As I said, it's made out of beechwood, and beechwood has easily become one of my favorite wood types for drum shells. I have used this snare drum for so many occasions. Recording session, tours, festivals, you name it. Let's just hear how it sounds.
Alright, next up is another pearl snare drum, and this one is a limited edition Sensitone snare drum. This snare drum is powerful. One millimeter steel shell, it has a gorgeous black nickel over steel finish, triple flange hoops. This is a snare drum you can trust when you want to rock out. It's super loud, and it's also really sensitive. If you've ever played the Chad Smith signature snare drum that he made with Pearl, this is basically it, but they rebranded it as a Sensitone. Let's check it out. This next snare drum is my biggest snare drum. This is the Chad Smith Signature Tricolon Snare Drum. This snare drum is a beast. This snare drum is so heavy, I kind of don't want to hold it anymore. This snare drum also contains one of Pearl Drum's specialities when it comes to snare drums. This snare drum is a free floater. This drum doesn't have any tuning lugs that are drilled into the shell. Instead, it has these rods that are connected to this hoop, I guess you could call it. So that there's no pressure on the shell. You tune it and you put it together by connecting the hoops, basically. That's why it's called a free floater. It's basically the ultimate resonant snare drum. Now, the really unique thing about this snare drum is that the shell is divided up by these rings. So you have two brass rings and one steel ring. You can actually switch these rings out. For example, if you want more attack from the top head, you can switch out the steel part and put it up here. Or if you want more sensitivity from the snare wires, you can switch the, uh, the snare one on the bottom. So it's a really cool and unique hybrid snare drum. Let's see how it sounds. All right, my friends, the last snare drum in my collection is a special one. I've owned this snare drum for about 13 years. This is the 13 by five Sonar Artist Snare in Earth Finish. Sonar does not make this finish anymore. So this is the first Sonar snare drum that I bought, and I bought it, as I said, 13 years ago. Just like the Pearl Reference Series snare drum in my collection, this one is also super thick. It's really versatile, uh, the sound is really controlled, and this one is made out of beech wood. This snare drum might be small, but look how thick this snare drum is. 27 plies of beech wood. So yeah, it's small, but it's super heavy. It also sounds amazing, so let me just show you.
that's it guys that's my snare drum collection now you got some more insight about the snare drums that i use and maybe just maybe you found a snare drum that you want to invest in trust me if you have the budget and you find one of these snare drums on the market you will not be disappointed it all depends on what kind of snare drum sound you want of course if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber yet hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated whenever i release a new video if you want to check out the usual tuning process for my snare drums you can check the video right here Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and good luck with your drumming. I'll see you soon.